extra minutes. Kevin Richardson is the lion whisperer. Before I met him, I was convinced he must have been some sort of madman. <laughs> to see him interact with the lions is just extraordinary. The moment he gets in with those lions, they just come at him and they barrel him over. They're, you know, 200 kilograms. I think the biggest is 250 kilograms. And he's really just a member of the pride. A lot of the filming that we did with him initially, he was inside um, quite a, a large enclosure and we were filming through the fence. Or we had this little movable cage so we could go inside but just we were sort of locked away and they couldn't get to us. It's about this time I think the boys are probably wetting their pants but they've got two male lions fighting over the same piece of meat about three metres in front of them. The best stuff was when we actually went out in the wild with the lions. But Kevin gave me a small bottle of pepper spray. And I was like, what's this for? And he said, well, they've been known to jump up on the back of the truck, so if they do. And so, how's this going to help me if a 200 kilogram lion decides that I'm lunch? Kevin's just told us to stay very still. The male lion has taken an interest in us and he's just trying to assert his dominance and get him to move away. No, boy. No, no, no. Start. Start the car and go. Sir. Go. Go. Okay. Stop. Go, 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 go. Go. Okay. Slowly, keep, keep the pace. We've now got... Just keep the pace. Okay. My heart was just... It was absolutely pumping and I thought for sure this thing's just going to take a leap and it's going to be in the back with us. I just I think I kept saying, you know, shit, 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 <laughs> to my friend. <laughs> and afterwards this sort of moment of going, whew. Whew. He has been scratched and bitten. I think he's had a couple of broken bones, but he's never been seriously injured by any of, any of his lines and I hope that remains the case. I'd hate to wake up one morning and see the headline, Lion Whisperer Mauled by His Own Lions. It's just an extraordinary place and the animals are just, just amazing. And it, you know, it's one of those places that I don't think it would matter how many times you go there, you always want to go back. <laughs> <laughs>